In this video, I will be showing you how much Fox recovery has generated in estimated AdSense revenue in the last 30 days. To determine how much this channel has generated in estimated revenue, I will be using two factors. The first factor is the total views this channel has gotten over the last 30 days. While the second factor is the average RPM of this channel. The total number of views this channel got over the last 30 days is 2.016 million. And this number can be discovered on a website called socialblade.com. Because I don't have access to the analytics of this channel, I cannot know the actual RPM this channel operates on. But for the purpose of this video, I will be choosing the RPM of $3. Using the RPM of $3, this channel has generated an estimated AdSense revenue of $6,048 in the last 30 days. This estimated AdSense revenue does not include other sources of income for this particular YouTuber, such as Super Chat, Super Thanks, Brand Deals, Affiliate Products and Services, and Sponsored Memberships. To determine how much a YouTuber earns, there are other factors that need to be taken into consideration when it comes to AdSense revenue. The first is the niche in which the YouTuber is. Is the YouTuber in the finance niche, or the tech niche, or the automobile niche, or the makeup niche, or beauty and fashion niche, or is the channel a reaction channel? These things affect the revenue when it comes to AdSense. The second factor is the audience country. Now, where the audience is situated on any niche is very important to how much advertisers will be willing to pay. So no matter what niche in which your content is, a developing country's revenue will be much lower than a first world country like the US, Canada, UK and Australia. Let me give you a typical example. It is a well-known fact on YouTube that the finance niche tend to have a higher CPM. Don't worry, I'm going to give you the definition of CPM later on in the video. Now moving on with my example, a particular YouTuber who is his content is into trading, which is also in the finance niche, happen to be having an RPM, which is the money that gets to the YouTuber of 1.6 dollars which is in contrast to the average rpm of financial youtubers from other first world countries tend to get which ranges from 6 to almost 30 dollars per rpm and the only reason i can come up for this kind of disparity is the location of the viewers the final factor is the topic of your video. If you are in the gaming niche and you make a video about your experience with Bitcoin, the CPM of that video is going to be higher than your average CPM. Or if you are in the vlogging niche and you make a video about the cameras you use in recording your videos, the CPM on that video will be higher than your other videos. So the money YouTubers earn from AdSense is called CPM. Now what CPM means is cost per mail, which is how much advertisers are willing to pay for a thousand views on any particular niche. And the word RPM is the revenue that gets to the YouTuber after YouTube as a platform takes 45% and give the YouTuber 55%. So the RPM is the actual revenue that reaches uh, the AdSense account of the YouTuber before taxes. 
This is the end of the video. Until the next one. Peace.